Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. We're going to be doing a run-through of the Liquidators Expedition to give you just like a tutorial, sort of in story mode, to show how this can be done in pretty much less than 90 minutes in-game time. So here we go. Let's get started. We're going to do it from a fresh save. Now, just a quick uh, piece of advice. If you want to start with a multi-tool that really works nicely for you, go to one of your regular saves, like this one right here that I've got a lot of hours on. Go to one of your regular saves where you have a nice multi-tool with a good layout of supercharged slots. Because, And then come back out to the main menu and start your game new like this. Now, when you get in there, the supercharged slots will copy over. The cache will not clear out of No Man's Sky. And you'll start out with a multi-tool with the same exact slots on your new multi-tool. So, very handy. Let's just say that. So, we're going to go ahead and do that here. So, as we get started in the expedition, um, the expedition consists of five phases. Uh, most of the phases, the first three phases are seven milestones each, and the last two phases are eight milestones each. On my keyboard, I'm going to press the E button to get started. And we're going to start from a random spot on the planet. Daytime, nighttime, doesn't make a difference. Your starter planet has no weather issues whatsoever. So spend time here gathering materials. That's perfectly fine. Now, one of the milestones we're going to follow first is going to be to gather resources. A lot of folks will wait until another planet or another system to get to. I recommend doing it here because it gives you the opportunity to have some materials to sell so that you can buy things that you do need. And there's our multi-tool. All right, so the first thing we're going to do as it starts up... There we go. Liquidators, Planet Ear Dog Sigma... And we're going to go into our exosuit. My recommendation is, is take your neural simulator, uh, stimulator, <laughs> simulator, and you'll notice it has two, it has a couple different things here. Jetpack tanks, 25%, no big deal. Sprint distance plus 10, sprint recovery time plus 40, and recharge rate is plus 11. Now, if you take this and drop it into your supercharged slot, look at those mounts right there. The distance isn't great, but your recovery time goes up to 75%. Leave that there comes in very handy. Put your jetpack next to it. You have one more supercharged slot. I suggest putting your hazard protection in there. Put your life support oxygen recycler near your life support. So it can, so these all work together, as you can see. All right, great. Let's go over to the multi-tool, and you'll see that my multi-tool has four supercharged slots in this L-shaped type formation here. I'm going to be taking the scatter blaster itself and putting it over here and then taking my shell greaser and putting it next to it. You'll notice it gives me a 14,000 unit uh, damage potential here. If I put it up here, it's not as much. But the upgrade that we get, we'll go ahead and throw it up there later. All right, so I think we're all set here. Um, it's going to pop up with a little message at the right. There it is. Telling us about bio broods and everything like that. Very good. My next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my expedition, and you'll notice it starts here. It's eight, seven milestones, seven milestones, seven, seven, uh, probably eight, and then eight. With the last one being an unknown. These are optional milestones that we'll get as the community completes uh, certain stages together. And we have gotten all of them now, so as we go through each expedition, it will start filling these in. So it tells us that we're going to locate our starship, but the first thing we're actually going to do is go to, to phase three and choose this. We get component crafting blueprints, which is fine, but the salvage data times 30 and the inventory slot times eight is very valuable to us. All right, let's get started. Now, we, our ship, we're always facing the direction of our ship. As you can see, it's about 600 units away. Um, we want to look around and look for a lot of resources, like all those rocks and trees and bushes in the distance there. Always a good thing to look after. So let's head that way. Away from our ship. Yes, I realize that. And we got all these resources. Now, if you happen to have a cave, that's even better. But I'm going to go ahead and jump over here. Now, another thing you're going to need are these hazardous plants. You got three of them right here. And uh, four of them, actually. There's a fourth one down there. Let's go ahead and gather them up. Because that's part of our resource. And you'll notice we're getting 20 each for the resources there. I'm not going to worry about getting the... Uh... There we go. Living with the land is working for us. 
and just keep gathering whatever you have in front of you. Carbon is definitely going to be needed in this expedition, but the second thing you're going to need is you're going to need ferrite dust. That's also equally as important. A little bit of sodium, always good. There's some ferrite dust right there. You notice that we're not getting as much as we're getting out of these. In other words, I've um, gotten 60 ferrite dust, but it's not counting a very large amount towards the total amount at our bottom right, which we're just getting up to 200 now. And we've gotten more out of, out of each one of these than is showing there. That is part of the game. That's part of the game mechanic itself. So just gather up the resources. As we go and gather these resources up again, carbon, obviously, ferrite, definitely need it. We need a few hundred of that. You'll be getting a ton of carbon as you go along this. But the ferrite, usually about two to 300 is necessary from the beginning. So get as much of that as you can for now. You'll be getting more because of as you go. Condensed carbon is also necessary. So gather it as you can. You don't need a ton of it. We got 78 out of that one. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Whoops. Oof. Don't want to mess up. If you would go more than five seconds in between pulses, it will reset your number at the bottom right and you'll have to start over again. That always upsets me. All right. Looks like we got another hazardous plant there. These are also providing us with oxygen. Don't forget to recharge your the unit here, the uh, mining beam. There we go. That was a nice chunk. All right. And again, we'll need sodium and a little bit more oxygen, I think. What are we up to? 822. Good. There's that one. And this should do it, I think. There it is. 900 resources. You can now take your time. So, as we head towards the ship, because obviously we've gone much further away from the ship than we need, let's do a quick scan of the surroundings and see what we find. we got some sodium that way. Condensed carbon this way. Looks like we had some more condensed carbon we didn't realize was there. Alright. Give us another 30. So that gives us a little over 100. That is very handy. We'll need that. Caves are very handy to get a lot of resources in. So if you look down there, you can get a lot of resources, and sometimes you can get some nice hazardous plants. So if you drop down in these, you can also get some, obviously, some cobalt in here to make more batteries if you think you're going to need some. Um, I'm just going to take a quick glance in here and see if there's any hazardous plants. I don't think there is. This is a very tiny cave, it looks like. Yeah, not much in here. So let's go ahead and get out. There we go. All right. Scan one more time, because we had some sodium nearby. There it is. I'm going to grab the sodium plant. Again, it's not much. And can we hit that? There we go. Got some good, more condensed carbon over there. I don't want to go all the way that way. All right. We've got an oxygen plant over there and some more sodium. Now, your jetpack won't last long, so don't take it too far. But you do have to get a thousand units of jetpack uh, boost in. That is a thousand. Uh, when I say a thousand units, what I mean by that is basically going a thousand units in the air. Clicks. You can call them what you will. I think we've got enough oxygen. Let's take a look. We've got 105 condensed carbon and oh wow, 300 oxygen. We're doing pretty good there. Lots of carbon and a good amount of ferrite dust. My suggestion is, when you remember to do so, add in, because you, you use this ferrite, two more grouping of ammunition, because you're going to need it. And there we go. Everything's ready to go. Let's keep going. We're going to head towards the ship now. As we go, we're going to do some scans, and we're going to look for any hazardous plants that are on the way. Looks like we've already got about five or six of them, I think. Let's check our milestone. See, we've got five of them so far. Let's collect this while we're here. So there's our blueprints, and here's our upgrade. See how that works? All right, got plenty of room in there now, right? All right, and it looks like we got some more plants over here. Let's grab these. There's one there, so that's number six. And number seven. Beautiful. Another one in front of us. Let's grab that one. Again, this is a great... 
place to do this from? Looks like it's down the slope a little ways. Yeah, right there. He chomped on my ankle a little bit from a distance. Alright. Another one right there. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one to get. We can gather up the resources from the gas. And that'll give us all the oxygen we need for the rest of the trip. As you can see, we just picked up... Look at that. Almost 300 more oxygen. So we're all set. Alright, we'll get this plant Whoop, right there. Any more? I mean, we're really hitting a lot of hazardous plants along the way. I think that's 10 now. You don't have to scan animals. There's another hazardous plant right there. And there's one right down the slope. You can just see it. There it is. Two more. Look at that. Isn't that great? All right. Just looking around to see if there's any more, because if we can get all of our hazardous plants, we'll be in good shape. Now, sometimes your ship is by a building, and that building can sometimes have a um, cave near it. You can get the rest of your hazardous plants there, usually. There'll be another one right there. Right there. There we go. Another ha hazardous plant taken care of. Fantastic. We're doing really, really good here. So let's head towards the ship again more. Looks like we've got some more sodium on the way. Very nice. And there it is. There's our ship. Now what I would recommend at this point, see our beacon over there that you pick up, the navigation beacon? You're about to have a bunch of biological horrors pop out, pop out of there. So switch over to your scatter blaster. And even though it shows it's fully loaded, hit the reload button anyway, because it's not. Alright, let's take these guys out. And there they are. Just shoot them. Reload when you can. Do a circular formation as you go around, because they tend to jump in directly where you were. So if you don't turn often, they will attack you. There we go. And once you get enough of them, you should be done. I'm going to pick up stuff from these containers in just a moment. What we're going to wait is we're going to wait for the spawns to drop. Now, it looks like we're also fortunate to find an abandoned building here, a large one, which has a lot of eggs around it. See what I mean about them jumping at you? So we're going to take care of our whispering egg count as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. In just a second, you're going to see them digging down into the ground and they're subsiding. Good. There's our first thing. Our guns blazing means we reached our ship. Let's check the damaged containers or stuff. We're looking for microprocessors or things that could be worth it. The hydrogen jelly is not as much. We can make another life support gel out of it. Yak relics are worth selling. Other containers, check them out. You can get some more stuff out of them. Got some sodium and a microprocessor. Fantastic. Those are always worth it. Now, before we go over to the building over here, we're going to repair our ship. So let's check our milestones. As you can see, all guns blazing. We get unstable plaza, plasma and supreme defense systems upgrade. We also get, for exterminating all those 16 horrors, a scatter blaster upgrade, as well as, and the plans to make it if we ever want to make one later on. So there it is, shell greaser it's called. So if we go in our inventory over here, there's our shield module, we're going to put that up here. And we're going to drag this over to our gun and put it over here. It's giving us a little boost to what we had before. So let me just see something here. Hmm. 14424 is the best we can get. And it's actually better in the position over here. Wow. Okay. Unless... Definitely better where it was. Okay, good. So that's a good spot for it to be in. So the scatter blaster being over here is excellent. Okay, good. So almost 15,000 damage where it's at. We're going to be probably keeping it there throughout the duration. Let's switch back over to our mining beam. And we're about to pick up the 
eggs here. We need, according to our thing here, let me see, is it number three? See, we already got 13 plants. Look at that. We need 13 whispering eggs. So let's go ahead and grab them. The key to this is once you shoot these, is pick it up, pick one up at a time immediately in case they drop through the plane and glitch out. You'll still get them, okay? But keep moving. That is the key because of that. So we'll grab one. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to grab one and two and three. Don't get more than three. Go on to your next spot. One, two, and I'm going to go on to my next spot. Until the count is complete. One, two. Take a chance. Get a third one. One, two. Oh, we're already getting hit. Let's move over here. One, two. Hit? Yes, it is. Then we're done. We don't need to get any more. Now, if we look at our spot here... We look around, I don't see any caves, but I did thought I saw something over there we could have used, but I don't see it now. Nothing there. Okay. We don't have any caves, so we're not going to worry about getting any more hazardous plants. Alright. So let's go ahead and head back, and we'll get our hazardous plants. That, that count we'll get later. So nothing more to do here. If you want to head into the building and gather up some resources, you can, but there's really nothing more to do. Let's get in our ship. All right, all units alert. Liquidator Commander broadcast follows. Glorious Liquidators, your Vanguard heroes have located a vile infestation spreading in the sector. All local cleanup units are hereby considered activated. The Vanguard has tracked and marked the infestation sites. Report for duty at your nearest rendezvous point immediately. Acknowledge the order. The Liquidators have called me and I will answer. I will do my part. All right, good deal. But you notice our launch thrusters are damaged. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to undo our rocket launcher, because that gives us two things. It gives us some copper, which we're going to put in our exosuit, and some condensed carbon. We're going to put that in our exosuit. You'll notice that we also have the hydrogen jelly and a repair kit. Well, if we go to our launch thrusters, you'll notice that it takes the hydrogen jelly, but we don't have any pure ferrite yet. We could make some by making a um, refiner and making some. But what we're going to do instead is we're just going to go ahead and do a repair by using E over by a pirate repair kit. So that is now fixed. Okay, and let's move that down. We don't want to sit it in a supercharged slot. We need a hermetic seal and a metal plate. So let's get hermetic seal and one metal plate. Right down here. Let's repair this. Put that in our supercharged slot because it could really use it. And move things around so we have plenty of room in here. We're now done. Now, I'd prefer to be in first-person view, a uh, third-person view, I mean, so I'm going to do that, and then we're going to take off from our plan. Our launch thrusters at 25%, so we'll be able to land one time before we have to recharge. That's okay, we do have some launch fuel. So as we head into space, wait just a couple moments, and you're going to get your first achievement. Left the planet, as you can see. Now, what I suggest doing is head towards the anomaly just a little bit. I'm going to orient it so that the space station is at the top right and the uh, rings around that planet are level. Let's head towards the space station for just a moment until we get down to 30 seconds. Alright, see we're 30 seconds out and we're going to turn around and look at our planet. Now it's dark at the moment. We're looking for a couple different features. The place we want to find is actually at a location known as... I can give you the coordinates, actually. The coordinates that we're looking for are negative 13.73 and negative 115.93. Um, one base I could think of is called PD, but I don't think it's showing up right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to actually go into this menu here, all the way over here, and I'm going to set my camera to a hot spot. And I want to get the sun shining on this side of the planet so I can see where I'm looking. It looks like the place we're looking for is not on this side of the planet that I can see. So we're going to head over to the other side of the planet over there, towards that save beacon. Let's head out. And I actually think it might be up there. Let's take a look. As we head towards the planet, I'm going to check my 
screen here. We go back into this view. Once we get below 2,000, look at that. I was right. It was up here. So again, negative 13, negative 115 is what we're looking for. So we need the left number to start climbing just a little bit. There we go. And the other number we need to drop. So we're heading in the right direction. Why are we heading to this coordinate? This coordinate has an island near it that is in actually really good shape. Um, it's dropping the top number down too, the left number down too much. There we go. It should be in this direction over here. About five more clicks out. It has a nice island that is large enough to do anything that you need to do here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fighting some sentinels here. And we're also going to need another secondary milestone, which is um, to gather alluring specimens under the ocean. 115.93, there it is. And here's our island. So I'm going to park on this side of the island. Get back out to third person. has a singular tree on it has no other features and you see we've already got a sentinel popping up you have to go out into space to get the sentinels to pop up and there is our first alluring specimen there happens to be another one right over there and one out just a little bit further than that one over in that direction we'll get all three in this particular run so what you want to do here is we're going to switch back over to our scatter blaster and we're going to do a complete run through of destroying sentinels now there we go our tool is powerful enough to take them out in one shot. All right, reload and wait. Now, we're gonna go through two levels of these Sentinels here. You can do all four levels. The key is gonna be in the fifth. If you look at our top right, we're on level two. Um, take out your summoner first, then your healers. Reload, and then take out the guns. One shot at a time. Try not to do double bursts, because sometimes your gun needs to reload at that point. And then you're going to have a secondary group come in, consisting of healers, and sometimes a third unit, but not always. Stay close to the center of the island. That should be a good spot. For you. Now we're going to level three. Level three is going to involve a quad. Now you notice that my secondary item on my gun is paralysis mortar. We're going to use that on our quad to take out its effectiveness at being able to shoot us. Again, taking out in order of importance. There we go. You see our quad in the distance there. Take out the healer. Healer. Summoner. Now start moving to one side. Or the other. There he is, the laser. Last to the side. He can't keep it up. Shoot him with the paralysis mortar then take them out point blank range. That's how you take them out. Back to the ship. We just want to face in this direction. We're going to level four now. Level four involves a mech. We're going to treat the mech the same way we treat the quad. Summoner, healer, healer, fighter, fighter. Good deal. Pick up our Resources, don't worry about the mech for now. Take out the second summoner that pops up. The healers, because they'll heal the mech. And make sure all three of those are gone. Now he's going to hurt you a little bit, but that's okay. Shoot him, point blank range. And usually you can take him out in just a few shots, if you have the supercharged slots. If not, you might have to take him with another with another uh, paralysis mortar. Stay in the center of the island and face your alluring specimen on the last run. The key to this run here is to not allow them to be completely destroyed. Take out your summoner and your shooters. Leave the healers. They can't hurt you much anyway. There should be another summoner over here. There we go. So that's two summoners. And you might get a third one. Okay, there's your mech. You want to take out the mech even though he would normally be destroyed because as he follows you, he'll keep the counter going for some reason. But you're going to have a hard time taking him out with those healers present, so be careful. And there is our walker. 
The walkers freak people out. People like to take the legs out first. You don't have to do that. See? And now he's angry. He stomps his feet a lot. Keep shooting your gun at him until he stops there. And then hit him with a paralysis mortar and take him out the rest of the way. My suggestion would be to gather up the resources from this. One time in gathering it up and second time in shooting it. Then, with just your healers ready, head for your alluring specimen. Alright. So as you head through the waters here, you're going to do a couple things. You see these long eel-like creatures? Scan those. Those are your apex predators. That completes a milestone. Go to your first alluring specimen. Pick the hadal cores until the monster shows up. And then shoot the monster. There he is. You notice our clock at the top right resets at 35 seconds. Go to your second alluring specimen and do the same thing. Now you probably will run low on time. That is okay. You'll notice my oxygen level at the top is dropping. We're going to go ahead and pick up one of these plants. There we go. And go the rest of the way. Now our clock is almost empty. That's okay. There we go. Notice our clock reset at 10 seconds. Our third one is to the right over here. We'll head that way next. Now notice my life support is dropping, but we haven't gotten the announcement yet until the clock finishes up. We won't get announcements. Now we'll get our achievements. See? Go ahead and drop in your life support gel. Oh boy. Oh, there he is. Okay. Sometimes you can go through all five. Alright, and we've achieved it. Your next step is to go up to here. Fortunately, if it was uh, daylight, you'd be able to see a little better. Go up to the plateau up here. You're not going to be close enough to the surface to breathe from the top of this plateau. But get to the right side of it and go up to the surface. There's your ship. Go up to the surface. Switch over to your terrain manipulator and switch to creation mode. Continue to click until you get it close to you and make a little bit of a peninsula sticking out. Switch back to your scatter blaster. Stand on top, and we're going to do a run thrust from here and head towards our ship. In order to get some speed. We just passed by a sentinel, and this gets us back to the island a lot quicker. And there we go. Now as we come out of here, we're going to check our milestones and see what we've achieved. Alright. All the way up. So in our milestones, you'll notice that in phase one, we have this one done because we went into space. So go ahead and collect it. That gives us our hyperdrive plans, some planetary charts, which we don't need, and starship launch fuel times five, which we do need. The second phase, we've got scrap metal. This gives us a multi-tool up module, some salvage glass, and atlantidium. Grab those. You're going to need those for more stuff to sell. See, we already got a sentinel showing up. Let's go back into here. Phase 3 gives us our Apex Predator, told you we'd get it, which gives us a combat scope unit, we won't need it, some Mordite, and a Supreme Scanning System upgrade, again, something we won't be using, but good to sell for nanites. Gather that up. We also get our Provocateur for stealing the Whispering Eggs. That gives us our Nutrient Processor. You definitely need that. You can sell the Planetary Charts and the Whispering Omelette if you wish. There we go. And then finally... We have our Blood in the Water, which gives us efficient water jets unit, that's some more nanites that we can sell it for, and a hypnotic eye that we can sell for money. Okay. So now that we've got all that done, we're back to phase one and leave it here, and we're going to go after our second round of Sentinels. Same process. Now when we take them out this time, you'll notice that we get three of these guys. One healer, two guns, two fighters, that is. There we go. They shoot like stormtroopers, so they don't always hit you. Okay. Now, in this particular case, we're going to go through all five rounds completely. We're going to destroy everything. I'm not going to explain things. I'm just going to go ahead and get it done. Really? 
Isn't that interesting? Our inventory is actually full now. Okay. Anything we can get rid of? I don't see anything that we can get rid of. That's the thing. Okay. For these kind of emergencies, head back to your ship. Base outwards. And start putting stuff in your ship. Like, for instance, the Hadal cores. This. This. I guess that will do for now. That'll leave us with enough room and we can get rid of that. We don't need it. Okay. Unbelievable. I don't know why these guys aren't destroying. There we go. There's someone to our left. What do you think? It's over here. I think it's our guy here, still shooting a laser, but from below the edge of the cliff here. That was kind of useless, wasn't it, now? <laughs> okay. Level four. Looks like we're ready. Looks like we have inventory space now, right? Yep. Three more slots available. Okay, everybody's gone. Okay, and they're gone. Okay, we only have one more batch of them left. And again, we have to take everything out here, especially the healers in this case, in order to stop them from coming back. Take out the spawner. Healer. Healer. Him and him. Next summoner. We've got our two-legged walker already here. Healers have got to go. Because they'll try to heal everything. Gather up your green buckets when you can. You don't have to take him out this time. Just go straight for the walker. When you do that, the two-legged walker is gone. All right. Where'd our walker go? There he is. Let's go ahead and get our brain. Oh, if I only had a brain. There we go. Walker's gone. So now we have everything we need. So before we get in our ship... Oops, there's another green barrel here on this. Before we get in our ship, we're going to take a look at our inventory. Uh, well, we got this one here. This gives us more inventory slots. We're going to need that. So let's go ahead and grab it. There we go. Excellent. So that should do that. We also got lock and load. So we're going to get some more unstable plasma, which we need. And we're going to get a plasma launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and take that now. Uh, let's see. It's right here. That's the scanner module. There it is. Plasma launcher module. Put one in here. And repackage plasma launcher. So we'll go ahead and add that in here. What else we got left in here? I thought we had one more thing in here. I don't see it. Okay. So we're good. So the multi-tool is now ready to go. You notice we're still doing 14,000 damage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different too. I'm going to move this over here. We're going to get more damage out of it. You see that? But we're going to put our plasma launcher in one of those supercharged slots. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good deal. We'll be doing some serious damage with that later on. So let's get in our ship. And again, we have one more launch left out of it. We need to bring these back in our main inventory. We have enough room? We do. Okay. We don't really need that in there, so we'll just hang on to it for now. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to be opening up some stuff. I do need to keep the microprocessor. I'm going to put that in my ship. Um, we don't really need the Mordite. I'm just going to get rid of that for now. 
Uh, anything else we don't need need in here. Okay, that leaves us with some room in our inventory. Let's open up all these salvage glass. We should have at least a stack and a half. Three, four. There's some nice antimatter. We'll put that in our ship. There we go. All right, we got some stuff that we can sell now, right? Any more broken glass? No, we're good. Well, let's take off. Now, you can add some of those upgrades into your ship if you wish. It is up to you. I don't. Uh, or they're into your exosuit or your multi-tool. It's up to you. The exosuit, pardon me, multi-tool upgrades will not help you unless you have a bolt caster. So no reason to put them in. You'll also notice that your sentinel hive is on the other planet down there on the bottom left. You can go ahead and do that again and get your third walker if you wish. Early on in the game, it's sometimes easier to beat all four rounds on the first planet or on the second planet, if you will. Um, I recommend taking them out later. So I'm going to get two more rounds of these guys gone at a later point, and I'll show you that later. Okay, here we go. Space station, here we are. We've already got all of our rewards, so let's just enter the space station. Now we are about 30 minutes in, 30, 35 minutes in at this point. So this is probably going to run a little longer than we expect, but that's okay. Alright. Now at this point in the expedition, uh, as far as the weeks are concerned, you're getting a different hauler now, but you're also getting uh, a change up in the NPCs on who carries what in their inventory when the ships that land. So we'll get to that in a minute. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell combat scope. All the hazard protection, we really don't need it. The scanner module, the efficient water jets. You notice we've already got 4,000. So I'm going to go with the weapon shards. And we're already at 6,000. So we can keep those and use them later. While we're in here, we're going to purchase a C-class hyperdrive and a B-class hyperdrive. As well as our pulse engine module. Which will speed up our ship a little bit. The ship we're looking for at this particular time, which may change next week, is going to be an uh, explorer class. While we're waiting, put this in our ship inventory. We're going to install this and this. That'll give us a little extra boost. We're going to install our C-Class here, our B-Class here, and we're going to install our hyperdrive. Okay. Oh, and our pulse drive, of course. Notice our... There we go. We're going to do that while we're here. Okay, we got a, we got a uh, couple ships here. We do not have an Explorer class yet. So... While we're waiting, we're going to sell off all of our materials. Who knows? I'm kind of walking straight here. As I'm trying to watch the door to see if anything shows up. Let's sell our stuff. We're going to get rid of our larval cores, Ugnium, hydraulic wiring, bot servos. The central boundary map we don't need. The planetary charts we don't need. The lemium we don't need. We're going to get rid of our hypnotic eye, the gek relic. Our computer, the salvage data, hadal cores, and DM. And all but one of the rancid flesh, we're going to keep one just in case. Vikeen, the hard frame engine, and the walker brain. Let's go back and get rid of the copper. We don't need that anymore either. So now we're all set. Let's take a look, see what ships have arrived. Nobody. No Explorer class ships. All right. You can check their inventories and see. You're looking for two things, chromatic metal and pyrite. He has some pyrite. We're going to go ahead and grab that while we're here, but we're going to put it in our starship inventory. That's excellent. The other thing we need is one, two, three, four microprocessors. We've already got one. You need five. Keep that in mind. Go back to our exosuit and take all of your ferrite dust. The only thing we need now is chromatic metal. But we can only get it from an explorer class at this time. Try as you might, you're not going to find another ship that carries it. That I've found so far, anyway. But they change it up every week. See? None. It's another shuttle. So we've checked a fighter, a hauler, and now a shuttle. That is another shuttle. Let's check the shuttle here. And I'll show you. As you can see, no chromatic metal. We can get copper and make it if we wish, but... It does take longer normally. So 
So we do need an Explorer class ship that we can get going. While we're waiting, we can drop at least the microprocessors in here. And we can't we need chromatic metal to make those. I'm gonna make some antimatter housings. There we go. I'll make six. Up, oh, explorer class. This guy should have what we need. Yep, there we go. And he also carries pyrite, so. Alright, we've got everything we need. We need nothing else from this guy. Let's go ahead and head out, shall we? Alright. So now we can repair the rest of our ship. Or install our hyperdrive all the way. We can all now now also make uh, five more of these. One more. And now we can make our warp cells. There we go. I'm going to drop four of them in there. We're fully charged. We've got plenty of pyrite to charge up our pulse drive. We're ready to go. It is time to exit this system and move on to our first warp. First warp is going to take us to milestone one right there. Off we go. So now that we're heading towards milestone one, again, granted we're about 40 minutes in, so we're about 30, 35 minutes in. Normally I leave the system around the 20 to 25 minute mark. Explaining takes a little bit more time. But hopefully you're enjoying this. So, milestone one, here we go. Normally I'd hit the space station, but this space station doesn't have anything we need. So just move over here, accept your reward of acceleration for milestone, and lock in on your drop zone one and head there. While you're waiting, grab your acceleration reward. We're also going to grab our bleeding foam. We would, but we get five inventory slots. Now, your, your multi-tool hasn't been upgraded yet, so wait until you upgrade it before you accept this one. Okay. And then while we're coming in, this gives us a launch thruster upgrade. We'll add that in over here, and it, pretty much we're right where we need to be. All right, as we come in for this planet here... I'm going to flip over so we get a better look at the terrain. I... Sorry. I like to... change my... divert power to engines, and I go a little quicker through the atmosphere. Your drop zone is to the left of drop zone 1, where it says it's over this way. Do a scan. See that building there in the distance? That's where your drop zone actually is. Try to land on the green pad. When it turns green... You go and we're landing all right now your biological horrors are going to show up just ignore them as best you can and head from inside enter this terminal here and complete your first and i should have read all that sorry so we reached our drop zone we're gonna grab some extra sodium while we're here. It only gives us about, uh, well, 15. That's not bad. But 15 helps. And as you exit, you're gonna have some guys waiting for you. Look at them. Jumping at you and hopping at you and everything else. Just jump back in your ship. You're gonna get a notification as you take off of your next spot to land at on this planet. There it is on the left. The shape of a mech. This one happens to be... We'll get off of Anfrak Town. An hour away, so we're going to go up to the atmosphere and pulse drive to it. There we go. Lock in and go. It's probably going to be nighttime when we get there. Ooh, it's still daytime, that's good. Now this locks in directly at the site you want to go to. There is no approximation. Now, once you land, you're going to be getting into a fight with what's called the Brood Mother. Don't let it startle you. When it's on the ground, it's easier to hit. Once it rears up, it's harder to hit. It's harder to do as much damage. Use your plasma launcher, but un but keep an, uh, your eyes open. If the plasma balls rebound back to you, it will kill you. Here we go. Should show up right here. 
There she is. For some reason I had to reload. And while she's doing that, you can keep shooting at her. Just keep moving, no matter what you do. There we go. Once you have her defeated, all the horrors and everything will go away. And you're free and clear to enter the building. Now, if you don't have your whispering eggs at this point, this is a great place to grab them. Make rid of this. We'll go ahead and read it this time. The terminal has been clogged with a viscous fluid, no doubt some lingering mucus from some from the brood mother. Never, nonetheless, it remains active. The logs of the liquidator who uncovered this nest are available to read. Here follows the testament of liquidator 3813G of the Vanguard. I was once like you, a, more, a mere cleaner, following in the footsteps of the brave Vanguard units who dove into the heart of the vile nests. I cowered, scared to do my part. Sentinels, broodlings, unspeakable horrors, I thought it would overwhelm me. And yet, here I am. And like me, you too will rise. You have done your part, and you too will follow the liquidators to glory. And there we go. Now, if you need more hazardous plants, there's usually one, as you can see by that icon there, indicating that it is inside this place here. There it is. Ceiling aim just below it. Take it out. That gives us our 14th one. That gives us some health. And we're back out. Okay, I'm going to switch back to our scatter blaster and head back to our ship. If you want to try to get some more hazardous flora, you can probably get some in these caves. I haven't tried it yet. Each place uh, gives you a different location to find hazardous, uh, to, fi to find your drop points, um, with the exception of one, and this may not be the right place to do it at. So, let's go ahead and get going. So again, where are we? Entire entirety of phase one is now complete so we're going to go ahead and you see it's multi-tool class upgrade and we get a hazmat gauntlet let's go ahead and do that first and then we're also going to take this one now it's going to give us three slots so let's go ahead and do that one two three and remember that one i told you to wait this one grab it now and there we go so you now have a fully upgraded. We're going to take our hazmat gauntlets and drop it in here. Because we're going to need it later. Notice we have a barbecue grill. And we have some food to cook. We're going to do that at our next drop point. Alright, off we go. No reason to stay at this planet. We're off to number two. So let's take a look. We're going on to phase two now. Now phase one does have this. So get your phase one rewards of your posters and plans and stuff like that. There we go. There it is. So now phase one is complete, complete. Okay, good. We're going on to drop zone two now. So let's head out. And off we go. Drop zone two, here we come. Now, my own speedrunning capabilities, I'm usually coming up on drop point four at this point, but that's okay. All right. Now, since we're at the space station so close by I'm gonna go ahead and enter the space station and we're gonna get one more upgrade there we go out of the ship we're just gonna get one more exosuit upgrade I uh, probably uh, ship upgrade and there we go ship upgrade we're getting is going to be the hyperdrive upgrade class B. There it is right here. By adding that to our ship, that should give us a boost to almost 500 light years, which is great. It'll get us through the entire rest of our run without any problems. 
I'm gonna take this opportunity to drop one of the warp cells in to keep this charged up. You will not need more than six. Usually you just need five, but you will not need more than six on a normal basis. Okay, off we go. Off to drop point two. Aim up and go. While you're en route, you can get your rewards too as you're flying, so if you didn't get them earlier, you can get them now, because it's kind of a long drive to get there. Drop point two is a toxic world. Now, if you look at some of your milestones before we get started here, we have to crush a vile grub. Now, since we now have our hazmat gaunts, we can pick one up. You see, we haven't gotten quite to a thousand on our jetpack. We're going to need it, so we're going to make sure we try to get it here. And we'll be able to get these two, we'll get this one, and this one, and we'll complete all of these while we're here. If you look at three, we've already got three of these taken care of at this point. We do need two more hazardous plants. We should be able to get them pretty easily, at least one per building. And we're going to do all of these and take care of them. So we'll have all of these done as phase three. Phase four, we haven't really begun to get much, but you'll get this as you go. There's no reason to hit any of your waypoints. It'll automatically give them to you as you, as you arrive. We also have to run through a storm for 1,400 units. We haven't had any storms yet. We have to eliminate 32 sentinels, which we'll do after we've gotten done with drop zone four. And we have to score four hits with one grenade. We can sometimes do that with the plasma launcher if, we, if we're good, depending upon what we're fighting. So we'll get that done. There's two ways to do it. And we're gonna do it at our next drop zone just to show you how it's done. And then finally, we have our fifth one. We gotta get 50 hostiles in the, from the Minotaur. We do have to get two more walkers. We'll get those later, and we do have to do this now. We're gonna do this at this next drop zone. So let's keep going. And what you'll find is by doing them out of this weird, in this weird, strange order, you're gonna actually complete more milestones quicker than anything else. And by the time you get to the end, it'll just be one or two fights, and then you're done. Okay, and as we approach the planet, good time to make sure that you're lined up properly. Looks like we actually are for once. And here we go. Now, don't pay attention to that. Your place that you need to land is over here. See? It's on the left. Straight at it, there's your green symbol that you can land at now. Our next spot is up on top of that hill, so good that we're direct we're pointing in that direction. Your opening to the building is on this side, jetpack there so you can get some more jetpack points in. I don't know why I'm having trouble getting in the door. Now before we get to this terminal, I'm gonna drop down a barbecue grill for this guy here, the nutrient processor. And when we enter it, we're going to drop in that one last rancid flesh that we left behind. You can leave the processor without waiting for it to finish up, and you will still get the achievement. So the milestone is now complete. And let's go ahead and do the intel cache. Congratulations on securing the drop zone. Your continued survival places you in the 61st percentile of all cleaning units. The scouts of the Vanguard have mapped out prime infestation sites on this world. Now, you must reach the nest to do, and do your part. Acknowledge order. I will do my part. That'll be the same thing, except the percentage will change every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get some nanites from this. If you're short nanites, that'll give you about, yeah, you know, see, about 60 or 70 more, so it's handy. Go over to our ship, through the air, get some of those air miles in, if you will. And as you take, up, take off your seats up there at the top ridge, my suggestion is, as you head up here, if you need more hazardous flora, you can get two quick ones at the top of this hill. Don't go all the way to there. Try to land early, like right here. If you're off the plateau, a lot of times the, the horrors won't notice you, but they did this time. So I'm going to switch to my mining beam, and I'm going to get this guy. And that guy. And that's going to give me my last two. There we go. We're done. Something else you can get, and I'm going to switch back to my gun now, is you can get this, which is a little bit more sodium. Look for two more sodium plants over this way. There they are right down. 
Why? Because you're using these as a direction. Go between them and head straight ahead and guess what you found? A juicy grub. Your hazmat gauntlets will allow you to pick it up. Pick it up first. And then head back here through the air as much as possible. Try to go up the slope to the side. You can check your jetpack miles now. You see I'm at 977. There it is. And let's go in here and we're going to accept that right now. That gives us Supreme Movement System upgrades. There we go. I'm going to put one in and two in. You can check these to see if you can get better uh, recharge rates. This has a 29%. That has a good sprint distance, but this has sprint distance and recharge rate. This one by itself gave a recharge rate of how much? 40 recovery time. Oh, that's not, that's just a regular recharge rate for your jetpack, not your sprint. Okay, so we're going to do sprint recovery time. I'm going to leave it down in here now. That's the better one to opt for. I'm going to get rid of my planetary charge. You can keep them if you wish, but I don't like to see them blinking in my inventory. They annoy me. All right, moving on. Now we need to get into another fight. With a brood mother. The opening to the building is right where that spot is. So we're going to try to get to the other side of the building before she pops up. Um, she popped up inside. Of me. There we go. And she'll do that too. There we go. Now we're doing a lot more damage now. Being a higher rate of shooting. So, that was really, really good. Alright, time to head in. Here's our terminal. I sponged the lingering slime from the terminal. The liquidator's logs are once again available. Here follows a testament of liquidator 3813G of the Vanguard. Swarm after swarm exterminated, countless colonies purged, and yet they keep coming, keep growing. They would consume us were it not for the sacrifices of the vanguard. See how the mother protects her grubs. Think what they would do if we left them to multiply in peace. And so I have marked this nest for you, Liquidator, this hive of vile infestation. If you are reading this, then you have done your part. Okay. You'll also notice we have a hazardous fauna up there if you still need them. Okay, out here. Now your ship is over there, right? What we're going to do is we're going to hit tab button. We're going to crush the grub. This makes another brood mother appear right in front of us. Don't bother fighting it. Head to your ship. You just needed to crush the grub. That's all it told you to do. And off we go. Bye. And it's gone and you get the achievement. Back to hyperspace. You're done with this system. And we're going to go on to number three now. We still haven't had a storm yet. We're probably going to get it on this planet. This is where we normally get it. And we're just coming up on an hour now. In game time, you've probably spent about 52, 53 minutes maybe. Actually closer to 50, I think. So we got another 40 minutes in game, in time game to go. we go. Alright, no more space stations for us. Our next drop zone is over here. Line up, aim. It is not on this planet here, it is beyond it. All you want to do is wait long enough to make sure that you're locked in on the actual uh, milestone and not on a base. There we go. So while we're waiting, we've got a couple things to get. We got some inventory slots. Let's go ahead and grab them. With 900 more nanites, you'll notice. So if you were a little short, that'll get you where you need to be, right? The next thing you're going to get out of this is a multi-tool class upgrade with some items of the, of the pulse spitter nature, which you really don't need. Okay? So we now have a A-class multi-tool. We don't need any of these rest of these. I'm going to go ahead and grab them anyway because I can, because you should as well. We didn't get this one yet, but we will be getting it soon. It'll give us that reward late, later. 
And then finally on phase three, you'll notice that we do have the hazardous flora. It gives us defense systems upgrade and some underwater oxygen. We'll go ahead and grab it. And then finally, one more phase down here, the spare ribs or stew, we'll go ahead and grab it so we have it claimed. All right, we're just gonna jump back out here. We're going to number three, just so you know. So how are we doing aim-wise? It looks like we're aiming right for it, so that's good. Um, I am going to put in our shield module, get rid of our B class, and replace it with the AS. Okay. Coming in on this planet. Now, it's hard to tell if it's going through a storm or not. Sometimes it shows a storm and it's not. Sometimes it doesn't show a storm and it is. So, the drop zone shows in the water, but it's actually on the plateau straight ahead, right here. Aim for it. If you need to scan for it, it'll show it to you. Aim right about there. It's hard to see in a storm, though. Just keep that in mind. And we've landed. Same process. Let's head inside. If there's a storm going on, you'll want to run around. But since there's not, it's just extreme weather. Go inside. All right. Same thing as you saw before, except this time it's 80th percentile. And... I will do my part. You get an interesting upgrade here. You go into your uh, rewards area, you're going to get a multi-tool inventory slot times three, more ammunition, but you get your minotaur as well. So go ahead and grab it. Let's get our three upgrade slots. See? Get a lot of minotaur stuff out of it. So there it is, right there. Good deal. There's our minotaur, which we need. Okay. We're going to be using him in just a little bit. Straight back to the ship. You notice there's still no storm. Let's go off to our... There it is. Spot over there. It's usually pretty far away, so I'm going to head up. Sometimes by heading up and out, it triggers the storm. I don't know why. But we'll find out. Wow, everything's daytime for me today. Very odd. Doing so many nighttime runs, I didn't know if it was possible to get daytime runs. Alright, here we go. This one's next to a lake. There's a lot of hazardous flora here too, if you want to grab it around you. But we're going to land right next to it. And... Up we go. Let's fight the Broodmother one more time. There she is. Because we're A-class, we're doing a lot more damage. Oh, there's our storm that we're looking for. And she'll be done in a moment. There we go. Now, the storm doesn't reach a crescendo for a little bit, so do your part by going inside real quick. Go to the terminal. Get the reward. We're going to go through the story real quick. Sponge lingering slime from the terminal. Liquidator's logs are once again available. Here follows a testament of Liquidator 3813G, the Vanguard. I have followed the, this vile brood across planet and moon from star to star and sector to sector, and now you do too. I have done what was asked, I have done my part, and now my life and theirs are intertwined. Vanguard and brood, hunter and hunter. It danced to the death. Okay, so we've got that. The storm should be just getting to full swing now. Watch the temperature on the left, it's peaked out. What you need to do is run through the storm. So if you look over here at number four, here is your snow blind. You need 1400 steps. It will pop up from time to time at the bottom right, but if you get it at this spot, you should be good. If you get it up at the other plateau that we were at, there'll be fires everywhere. Just run around, and because we don't have any broods running around with us, we should get do really, really well. Now watch my run juice at the bottom right, as it bottoms out. See how fast it recharges, that's good. Just watch your extreme storm damage that you could be getting and you have sodium remember but I'm gonna use my batteries for now there we go now I'm just basically running around the building in a complete circle We're at 500 steps. The storm on this planet lasts a good long time, so you should be able to get all 1,400 steps from this storm. There 
There we go. Should be past 600 by now. There we go. And we're at 700. We're halfway done. Let's recharge another battery. Fortunately, we're near water, so if worse came to worse and you happen to run through flames, you could jump in the water real quick. We're at 800 steps now. keep going here. There's a lot of plants up here on the slopes too, by the way. Hazardous plants if you need them. And recharge. We're going to use our last battery. We're over a thousand steps already. Ah, it didn't quite last as long as we wanted, so we're going to have to go for another storm at this point. So it looks like we only got a little over a thousand steps. So we're going to have to find some place to get 350 more. So it's calling me out to be a liar today. This uh, upgrade here doesn't give you much except some blaze, ja blaze javelin stuff. I don't particularly care for it. You can get it if you wish. Um, two should be available. It doesn't have it available yet. Okay. So phase three is pretty much done at this point. There we go. Now, we're going to, like I said before, we're going to use our Minotaur here. We're going to get our 50 in. So let's put the Minotaur down. What do I mean by that? We're going to put this in our Minotaur, this in our Minotaur. We're going to put the rest in, but we're not going to use them. There we go. It's going to put it in my ship while I'm thinking of it. All right. Let's get in the Minotaur. It'll protect us from the weather. What am I talking about? What 50? Well, let's look at Phase 5. Timberwolf. Kill 50 hostiles while in the Minotaur. We're going to show you a quick way of getting that done here. So first thing we need to do is install the cannon, which is the gun here. Put it in a supercharged slot. Add the three S-Class upgrades around it to give it full power. Move your shield over to a supercharged slot and this over to a supercharged slot. Leave these out. This is a mining beam which just basically gets in the way and your AI unit you really don't need here. Don't forget to charge it up with all that carbon you have. What you're going to do is you're going to aim for these eggs over here that you see. I'm going to go into picture mode so I can show you. Aim for these eggs here in this corner. What will happen is all the bio biological horrors will start popping out of the ground in this general area. Keep mowing it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hopefully you'll catch everybody before they can escape and you'll get done with your 50 within a matter of about 10 to 15 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Let me demonstrate. See, one, one escaped. That's okay. Looks like another one escaped to the right. But stay on your platform no matter what. You see we're getting all of our expedition rewards now. There we go. I let a few others escape. But, looks like... We should be getting it any second here. Any second. It's calling me out to be a liar now. There it is. Take out the last few ones. Get out of your suit and head out. Now, if you want to gather up the base, you can. There we go. And that way you have it with you. You'll get the materials to build another one when you need to. Then just get in your ship and leave. You're done. You now have that reward completed. So head out. There was one more thing. I'm going to show you something while we're here that you can do. Um, can we do it here? I don't think we could do it. Let's go to the next drop zone. And I'll show you the last thing we can do. We need, do need to hit four hostiles with one plasma launcher. Uh, plasma ball, if you will. We're going to do that at four. So let's head over to four over here. Now, four, your fourth drop zone is your easiest planet out of all of them, folks. There's no weather issues that occur there, so you won't get any storms, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing because you can clear out the planet real fast and get out of here. 
bad thing because you need a storm. All right, should be straight ahead. Now it's not showing yet because it wants us, if you look at number three, it wants us to complete other milestones. We got our second milestone later. Let's go ahead and grab them. There's our liquidator arm, right? Okay, good. But we've selected something else. We selected our storm, so we got to select this now so it'll show up. This over here has got this in it. I'm going to go ahead and select it so I can get it off my screen. That stuff goes in my ship. And we got phase three complete, which we've already completed that. So these are all complete now. Phase four, drop zone four. Let's head towards the spot. And we're on our way. Is there anything else we can grab from three that we haven't grabbed yet? It doesn't look like it. So four is going to be very important to us because here, this gives us another upgrade. So we'll get the S-Class upgrade for our multi-tool here. Very, very important. We've also got this, the Aqua Jets and the document. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'll show you what that is in just a moment. And then five, we now have Timberwolf. We get our Neutron Cannon here if you want to grab that too. It's up to you. I find that I'm doing just fine with the Scatter Blaster though. So the Water Jets are this. We're landing on water. Here's all your weapons upgrades that you can get if you wish. I'm going to drop this back in here so it gets this charged back up and gets it out of our inventory. All right, so we're in good shape here. Um, let's go over here and check. Uh, oop, where are we coming in for landing at? Okay. So these wonderful people and their bases they upload keep confusing our directions. All right. Here's our drop zone here. Now, even though the drop zone shows here, it's going to move here in just a moment. Okay, and it's actually on the mountain to the left. Right about there. There's the building, and the landing pad is just beyond it. Just see it. There is a hazardous flora up on the slope here to the right, right up there, and another one over there if you need it. Okay. We're not going to do that. We're going to head straight into the building. All right, we're in. Let's get our Corvax transmission tower thing. Same broadcast. This time we're at the 90th, 90th percentile. I will do my part. All right. Let's grab a little more sodium while we're here. And we're on our way. Oh, we got projectiles. Right. We needed those. All right. Back to the ship. And we're just going to take off here. So at the next one, where'd it go? I don't know why it wasn't showing. It seems to be stuck on something. Okay, we're gonna go all the way up into space, just and go back down. Ah, doesn't look like we're going far. And it's daytime again. How interesting. This one appears to be on the top of the mountain. Fascinating. Okay. It looks like it's on the left side of the building. Pay attention to where it is. Okay. So we're going to take out the Broodmother first. Okay, and we're going to show you how to take care of that uh, that other thing we were talking about. Let's go in here first and get to the terminal. And read our story real quick. I sponged the lingering slime from the terminal. The liquidator's logs are once again available. Here follows the testament of liquidator 3813 of the Vanguard. This infestation was stubborn. I had to place the plasma charges by hand, plunging myself into the viscera of the nest. I did so without fear. I knew those who follow would do their part. But at its heart, surrounded by grubs, I was submerged into the hive's jelly. It was soft. It was warm. It was a home. I could not place the charges. I could not do my part. I am shamed. And now you have done my part for me. Yeah, he's a wacky guy. Before we leave here, this building, we're going to go ahead and grab our multi-tool upgrade. There's S-Class, see? And we're going to go in here and grab our multi-tool slots. There we go. So everything is lined out inside this multi-tool. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to jump up top of the building here. 
look down at those eggs down there and get our gun ready. You notice we are on plasma launcher. We're going to shoot the egg and then one, two. And you notice we just got purged by fire. Should have gotten the other one. Let me see. For some reason, there it is. Fire in the hole. That's the one we were looking for. So we got it. So go ahead and take it. Go up here, and we'll get uh, we'll get some upgrades out of that. So let's go ahead into our thing. You see, we got two upgrades for our plasma launcher. We're gonna go ahead and grab it. Let's move some stuff out of the way, and we're gonna grab the other one. There. So now they're all four surrounding it. Extra powerful on that. And you notice our gun is now at 20,000 damage, so that's really, really good. Okay, so we're done here. There's nothing more for us to do. So where are we at? One is complete. Two is complete. We even got that, too. Three is now complete. It gave us this just now, so let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, there it is. So three is now complete, complete, if you will. Four is almost complete. We have to navigate in a storm, and it's stuck on that, but we're not going to get a storm here. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to go take out those corrupt sentinels. So let's go ahead and leave four and go to our next world. We have two more hyperspace jumps to go. I was going to hyperdrive, uh, pulse drive out of, out of the system, but that's okay. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo this real quick. Now, normally we would head in that direction and head towards the next spot. Now, see the star here? This is where you started when you first began the expedition. That planet over there by the, after the red star is the second place you visited. In between these two and a little bit lower but near the path that we're going is this planet here called Netiaok. It's a dissonant planet. Dissonant system, pardon me. The planet that we're going to is right upon exit of the system. I recommend going here because it is easy to get to the planet. Now, unfortunately, at this point of your, of your pulsing, this is your fifth pulse drive, or pardon me, hyperdrive jump, so you will be ending up in a pirate battle. The good idea to do here is to pull in the anomaly to escape. There we go, and there's your pirate battle. The planet that you're going to is to the right, so we're going to head left. We're going to pull in the anomaly. We're going to head straight for it. The pirates are going to follow you, as you can see. Just head for the entrance. By the time they try to fire at you, you're already going inside. See? Done. You don't need to get out of your ship. Just basically land and take back off again. This is a good time to get your uh, rewards, if you have any more rewards to get. And there we go. And just simply... Take back off again. Your battle is now complete. You don't have to fight them anymore. The best place to find on this planet to fight the Sentinels, the Corrupted Sentinels, is near a shoreline. Pick your spot. It doesn't make a difference where you go. I'm going to go over here this time. Shorelines are good because they happen to have a lot of flat surfaces, whereas the rest of the planet is very hilly and hard to battle on. Um, look for a lot of white sand. Like that sand over there was pretty good. Got some straight ahead. There's some over here. That looks like a good spot right over there. Yeah, all of this would be great. We just need to make sure we have Gravitino Balls. Let's go over here. I'm going to take a chance and land right here. That looks like a nice spot to do some fighting. Let's see if we got any Gravitino Balls over here. We do. One couple there couple there. Those are closer. You've also got a lot of hazardous plants over here, so that's always good, too. <clears throat> Let's head over to the Gravitino Balls. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Pardon me. Hopefully we can finish this out. Alright, and it looks like there's just one here, so before you pick it up, look for another one that you can tag, like right over there. That'll get you back to your beach. Face in a direction you want them to show up at. I'm going to have them show up over there. And there they are. 
Now your counter's ready to go. As soon as you take one out, look at the bottom right. See? One of 32. Two. Why do we wait till now? Because you have S-Class upgraded multi-tool, and you're doing 20,000 damage with each shot. And we're going to head back this way towards our ship, and we're going to pick the ground we want to fight on. There's the next three. One. Back to recharge. Two. Three. Okay, that's done. Now, this next battle is going to involve usually spiders. The big ones and the small ones sometimes, so if you're fortunate, you'll be on good ground. Use your plasma launcher as much as possible. Looks like, yep, there's our spider. Let's take out the flyers first. Two. And hit him from a distance if you can. There we go. Two shots ought to take him out. And we'll get some more flyers. Oh, we got lucky. They like to use their flame sometimes. Two. further out they are, the harder it is to hit them. Okay, multiplying. So we're up to how many again? We're up to 12 now. If we can get at least 17, we should be in good shape. That, by the way, is another predator right there. The guy looks like a little T-Rex there. So if you need a t predator, that's your predator. Ooh, this will also get you that. There we go. That get them all? Ah, there's two more over there. Oh, we're out. There we go. One, two. Try to get them from a distance. You can you can shoot them close up. One, two. back over here so we can choose our ground. There's our spider and we got a couple flyers this time. Wait till he gets close so that the other guy comes in closer too. See how I drew them in? One. Get the spider before he jumps at you. One. They like to self-destruct near you. Anybody else? Look for red arrows that pop up at the corners. Alright, good. We got everybody. Let's see how many we got. We got 21, so we need 11 more. Excellent. And we don't have any storms yet, so it is what it is. Don't worry about the spike. All right, so we've completed this. Let's pick this up, too. We have our Gravitino ball that we had highlighted, so let's head towards it. You got to learn how to fly in midair, folks. should get us a couple of these guys. Good. There's three of them. So we need 11, right? So it's one, two, three. Back to the ship because we want to be close by it. So our leaving this planet is going to be very interesting. I'm going to take out the next three real quick here and I need to recharge my, my, my uh, launch thrusters. There we go. I'm trying to draw these guys in. go. Good. Got to recharge our launch thrusters real quick, so we're going to go this way. Go to our ship. Good. Launch thrusters weren't terrible. But, no, we wouldn't have been able to take off. Okay, good. We 
need two more. So we're going to have to take these little guys out, unfortunately. Got him. Alright, we need two more guys. Too bad the little guys don't count, right? So as soon as we get these last two, we have to leave. So here's one. There we go. There's the second one. One, two. You notice it says storm now? It means we've gotten them all. So let's jump in our ship and take off. We have to go into hyperspace as quickly as possible. So pulse out, go into your menu, and choose hyperspace immediately. And that'll get you out of the battle. So we're going to head to drop point five now. Excellent. We're not quite an hour and a half in real time. We're already coming up on drop point five. We still need 350 steps for our storm uh, to finish out phase four. And in phase five, we should only have a couple things left. So our next thing to do is to take out two more walkers and hope for a storm at some point. Okay. I'm going to try something here place we want to go to on this planet, its coordinates are 0 and negative 105.18. It should be right there. So go one complete circle over to the right, and it should be to the right side of this cloud. The clouds are always in the same spots on these planets. We're a little off, I think. First person view. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. 105. So we want to bring that negative number down. Closer to zero. And the other one up, which was, looks like we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, of course we got a storm coming in. As I'm trying to find the spot I need, it's about to get really cloudy. Four. Should be over the rise, I think. There it is. Now, see this building right here? We have a walker sitting right next to it. Land. Now, the... All the little guys that are running around it, like these guys right here, even though it's an aggressive planet, they're not going to see you. So just run around in the storm and get your storm points in. I don't think there's one up on the hill, right? Just checking something. So let's get our 350 steps in real quick. And then we're going to fight our sentinels. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want, but the good point behind this, the reason I'm doing this too, is not only get the steps in, but it's because of these guys. The, uh, they'll sink back into the ground, and they won't be causing you trouble when you're trying to take out walkers. And we got it. Now, the temperature's not so bad. Okay, let's get our reward real quick, Snowblind. Because one of the things it gives us is life support. And another upgrade for our jetpack. Let's go ahead and put these in. Excellent. Uh, we don't really need that. that ship, ship. Get rid of those, we don't need those. Okay. 
All right, we're all set. Health is at maximum. Uh, our gun is ready. Take these guys out. Got him. Take him out. S class, you should be able to take him out like butter. Fortunately, you got a quad out here, so. Good, he's gone. Don't worry about picking up stuff. Take out the summoners if you can find them. Good. Summoner. Healers. Get him. There he is. Don't try to use your plasma balls here, because it'll hurt you more than help you. Alright, so we're ready to go. You notice we're at level 4 already. This is why I take out this, because you already end up with a walker at the very beginning. There we go. Trying to get damaged too much, huh? go. Where'd he go? He's over there. Take out the healers, because he, they like to, to help their, uh, their map, of course. Got him. Good. Reinforcements. This should be the last stage. I want to point at an easy area over here. And we'll complete these out. And this will be our last walker. Take out the summoners, don't forget. There's two of them here. They're harder to, to fight on this planet, but you have the skills and the power to do so. Every stage is going to bring in another summoner, so make sure you take them out. There's another summoner. See what I mean? And take out your healers before they get too far away. Look at that. How many summoners did we have here? Good grief. I can't see them. There we go. Got them. Got them all. Watch. No, they're not. Ha ha. Okay, that means we're done. So let's take a quick look. So you'll see that one is complete, two is complete, three complete, four is now complete. We got our purple mist. Let's go ahead and get that. We're going to go over here too. We're going to get our purged by fire, more liquidator parts. Yep. And we're going to get our mandibles and exoskeleton customization. And you see all four phases are not complete. We're on to phase five. We just completed Iron Giants. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Excellent. And then the only thing we have left is the drop zone, the final site, and then whatever that one is. Let's go find out, shall we? Back to our ship. And there we go. You can head to the hive if you want and go check out the extra stuff that could be there, like a multi-tool. But I'm going to choose to head out and complete this mission. Okay, if I can get my ship to obey me. There we go. Lock in on the drop zone. It should be at the bottom of the planet. I think we're locked in. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. So we got all of our rewards. All of our rewards are complete. We're heading to drop zone 5. And we are one hour and 35 minutes or so into it now. And in in-game time, we're probably about an hour, between an hour, 10, hour, and 15. We've got our storm running in, which if you get it on this planet, you can get it here too. And here we go. Three, two, one. Excellent. 
Now, the place you want to land, if you're coming at it from the right direction, should be to the right. There it is. There'll be a landing pad as usual. There it is. The horrors will jump out of the ground as usual. The entrance is on the far side of the building. Set straight. And inside you go. Alright, let's grab this. It's the same message as usual. Uh, 95th percentile now. Did our part. We're going to acknowledge the order. I will do my part. So you completed this. Drop zone 5 is final. Let's check it out. You're just getting basically 500 Quicksilver. The 505. What do you think that's in reference to? I'll leave that up to you. Alright, back to our ship. The next is to go to its... There it is. To go this way. See how far away we are. Uh, half hour away, yeah, I think we're going to go out in space and hit it. Okay, bring it down. And off we go. Now again, you can fight all four waves of Sentinels by using the method I showed you at the beginning. At that beginning planet, they will be easier to fight. So I do suggest if you, if you have a little trouble with Sentinel battles, that's the best place to do it. Okay, this will be an exact location. We don't have to search for it. We're going to try to get as close to the building as we can for once. There we go. Ooh, I don't think we can get any closer without landing on top of it. Broodmother should appear right here. I'm going to use a plasma launcher on her. Make sure they don't rebound to you. Gone. And that should be your last battle. We do have a storm coming up, so finding the last spot's going to be a little difficult. All right. Sponge Lingering Slime. Liquidator's Logs are once again available. Here follows a testament of Liquidator 3813 to the Vanguard. I have marked this world for you, but I have not done my part. I leave that to you. You will have done what was asked, I am sure. From here, I leave my part behind. I am nothing to the Vanguard now, a shameful deserter. I found a nest. I have committed myself to it. Ew. Okay, let's head back to the ship and get in real quick. Take a look. There's our reward. Memory Fragment, Lubricant, and Living Slime. There we go. And then finally, you'll see it now says, Swarm Song, Learn the Fate of Liquidator 3813. So let's see what happened. It will be in the shape of a grub. There it is, to the left. And it will always be close by, usually within a minute. This one's within 20 seconds. As you get within 10, do a scan, and you should see a building close by it. That is usually your location. Unfortunately, we can't see a blessed thing, so... Hopefully this is it. As long as it's a building... This is a building. Let's go ahead and land. I think this is it. Take a look real quick. Yep, it is. This is the building. Our entrance is right here. Your horrors are popping out, but just go ahead and head straight into the building. Let's get the last of the story. The fluids that clog this terminal are unusually thick. Long strands of slime cling to its surface. Despite my best efforts to remove them, it is as if they are somehow alive, clinging to the words that flash across the screen. Here follows the final testament of Liquidator 3813, once a scout of the Vanguard. The fluid that engulfs me has begun to set. I wish to leave these final words, but as I feel the hive resonate around me, as I feel the jelly gently consume my bones, I no longer remember why. What is left of me? I leave here for any who follow. The hum of the hive is all I hear now, the, blind, the binding music of the brood. My heart sings the song of the swarm. Collect genetic rem remnants. And that's it. You have now completed the expedition. So let's go ahead and get our last couple of uh, rewards. We've got a grub cocoon, yay. We've got this reward. The Broodling, Liquidator de Decal Plans, and the Banner Customization. And 
it should give us our final reward right here purged by fire which is complete actually I don't know why it says it isn't and I think the brood is gone the actual swarm is gone too so you should be able to gather the fifth and final item and should have been complete but for some reason it's not showing that might be just a little glitch in the system here but everybody should get it and it should be as an expedition reward the liquidator right arm customization which everybody should have but while before you leave grab this this gives you your your chitin 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 flight pack I always do that so you can get that for your main character and for any other characters who wish to get it that you have in other saves so everything is now complete except that and it will leave it open until it is complete so you can come back to this and claim the final reward when you wish so let's go in and out of this and get a save point I want to do at least a quick wave okay good we got that in so that's our save point let's go ahead and exit the game into the mode select and how much time did we do it in shall we look one hour and 17 minutes so even on a playthrough like this in story mode we still completed it in one hour and 17 minutes unlike the record time of 56 minutes that you see here ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you all for watching this please hit your like and subscribe and you may want to bookmark this particular video from when we do a redux at the end of the year that way you have some kind of guide that you can go by in order to complete the expedition. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. This has been Alon Paul, and this has been No Man's Sky. Thank you very much, folks.